Hi. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short video on the new real-time data quality dashboard. By the time you have completed watching this video, we at Realtio hope that you are well equipped to use the data quality dashboard to both monitor and improve your overall data quality. Now, the first question is, where do you find the new data quality dashboard? Well, by using the navigation here on the left and simply clicking on the data quality dashboard icon, you will be navigated to your dashboard. Now I'm sure you're wondering, why would you use real-time data quality or DQ? Simply put, this data quality solution helps you to derive insights and make data-driven decisions. When dealing with large or voluminous data, data quality is one of the key areas of improvement. You can derive decisions and analytics only when high-quality data is used in an effective and accurate manner. Now let's have a quick look at our dashboard. Starting at the top, we see all of our entity types. On the far left is our list of attributes. If you're looking for a specific attribute, you can use the search bar to find that attribute. Moreover, filters can be applied to help you drill down further on the data that you want to see. To the right of the attributes, you'll notice some icons. These are attribute properties, and they provide a little bit more context about the rules and functions associated with that attribute. For instance, included in match rule, has validation functions. Now, let's have a closer look at some of the facets in the dashboard. The first facet we're looking at is the summary facet, and this essentially is just a high-level overview of values associated with the selected attribute. Next, we have profiles with invalid data. This chart will help you identify profiles that violated validation functions and subsequently help you to write the correct match rules to improve your overall data quality. Fill rate will help you identify what portion of your data has missing attributes. You can use this chart to view the percentage of existing or missing data in the selected attribute. To get more information, simply click on exists or missing. This will redirect you to the advanced search page where you will get a list of the affected records. Here we have the uniqueness analysis chart. You can use this chart to view the percentage of unique and not unique data in the selected attribute. Frequency analysis will help you ID placeholder data. For instance, ABC, 1, 2, 3, and don't touch. You can use this chart to view the value, count, and percentage of the values in the selected attribute. To get more information, simply click on a row in the chart. You'll be redirected to the advanced search page where the records containing the value, the entity IDs and scores are sorted. Source system analysis. This chart allows you to have an aggregate list of all data sources. The value of having a bird's eye view of all your data sources is the power to quickly identify problematic data sources and then take the necessary steps to resolve any issues with that data stream. Down below, we have the length statistics chart. You can use this chart to view profiles in the tenant that have attribute values having the same name length. You can view the minimum, the average, the median, as well as the maximum character lengths. To get more information, simply click on the bar chart. This will redirect you to the advanced search page where records containing the profiles and the entity IDs as well as scores are sorted. 